Welcome back. As promised, we're now going to finish off this table leg by adding a little bevel to it. So first thing I'm going to do, just to make life a little bit easier, is to just move this out of the way of the table so we can see everything. And the trick to this, the reason that this step exists at all, is because I want to show you how to select edge loops, which is really important. So we're going to go into edge mode. So I just right click on my shape and select edge like so. And you can see that whilst I'm doing that, I can click and select on any edge and that will select it. What I can also do is if I hold shift on my keyboard and left click, it will allow me to select multiple edges. That can take a long time though. So what I'm going to do instead is use a couple of methods to select all the edges that I want. So to select an edge loop, what you need to do is find any edge that's facing the direction you want and double click it. And you can see that's now all gone kind of pinky orange, whatever that color is. And that means that that entire edge loop is selected. Then what I'll do is just swing around to the other side. I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard while I do this and double click again. We've now got both those edge loops and I'm just going to double click there to get that one. And double click there to get that one. I've now got all four corners. Just to keep this even and to make the topology make sense, I'm also going to keep holding shift and select the two top edges and the two bottom edges. That means that I've now got the front ring selected all the way around and also the one at the back. So this double clicking to select edge loops can save you a lot of time. So remember that. Okay, what we'll now do is just add a bevel to this. And this time I'm going to do that by using control and B on my keyboard. So control B. There is my bevel, beautiful little bevel. And I'm going to drop the fraction on this to 0 0.2. I think will look nice. Yep, that's nice enough. So we'll go back into object mode on our table leg. And I'm just going to drop it back into place for now, or roughly where I think it's going to be. That's pretty nice. So we've now got our table leg done and it's beveled. The last thing for us to do really is to add this to a layer so that we can hide it while we're working on other things. So we'll do that by getting a marquee selection of everything that we're looking at down into our display panel down here where we can get layers, create layer from selected, give it a name. So I'm going to call it furniture, I think. And save. And that means that I now have the ability to toggle that on and off. Okay, the next step, we're just going to have a real quick look at what extrusion is before we go on to do some for ourselves. So I'll see you in the next step for that. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.